One way to determine the energy content of food is to do a calorimetry experiment. You can burn the food in oxygen, just like it's consumed in your body, and measure the heat output in joules, or in calories, the more common nutritional unit of energy. So here Lonnie's preparing to burn a donut in liquid oxygen. Now this isn't a formal calorimetry experiment because we won't capture all the heat released, but we'll just visually demonstrate the amount of energy stored in a bite of donut. So to start this reaction, Lonnie will start the donut burning in oxygen and then add it to the liquid oxygen so it rapidly combusts and we'll see the energy released rapidly. So Lonnie takes the donut and he begins the combustion, releasing a small amount of the energy now as the donut begins to burn. Then he'll transfer it to the liquid oxygen and the energy will be rapidly released. Now remember, this energy released is the amount of energy that your body must burn off after consuming just a single bite of donut. Let's see how much energy that is. Clearly, the energy content of a donut, even this small bite, is very substantial.